everybody welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to talk about college roommate drama y'all i done been in two experiences where like it was just so bad like i don't know i wouldn't like i would never do the roommate thing ever again like i'm a senior now but like no like i can't see myself ever getting a roommate but i'm gonna get you i'm gonna just get to the story so my freshman year i moved on campus whatever and i had already had a roommate um, it was randomly selected. I don't even remember it. Like, I wasn't going to say no names anyway, but, um, she was black like me or whatever. And I'm like, okay, maybe like, we'd be cool and all of that. So literally like, um, the first month of us living together, like we barely even talked, like we talked a little bit, but that was really it. We didn't really talk like that. So like, literally one day I came to my dorm and she was like packing and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> So, um, she was like, I'm moving out or whatever. So she ended up telling me that she had already applied to be with her friend and they had accepted. So once they accepted it, they ended up accepting it. So she moved out. So at this time I was friends with this other girl, or whatever. And she was having problems with her roommate. She was telling me about like how she was not clean, all the other stuff. So I'm like, my roommate moving out. Maybe you could just move in with me. So she was like, all right, bet, bet, bet. So, we, me and her became, like, super close. We lived together for, like, I want to say school started in August. Like, literally, probably, like, I don't even know when she moved in, but we was living together for, like, basically first and second semester. So, um, we had all the same friends. Everything was fine. And then, like, one day, I, one weekend, I went home. So, normally, like, my mom, she buys, like, us snacks, food, all of that or whatever. So I had went home that weekend or whatever, and um, I came back and like I noticed like um, stuff was like missing, but I couldn't really like tell like what was missing. It just seemed like something was off. So like I'm just chilling or whatever, me and her just talking per usual. And she ends up saying to me like, oh, guess who came over and spent the night? And I'm like, who? So she told me the names and it's like two or three. I think she said it was two people that came over and spent the night that we know. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And I'm just like, where did they sleep or whatever? And she was like, um, they friend lived down the hall or whatever. They had brought them a blow up bed or something like that that he had in his room. So mind you, these two people that came to sleep on, in our dorm don't stay on campus. So um, she had told me like they had just left the party and who they had went to the party with, he didn't have enough room in his dorm. So, she, so they asked, could they come sleep in my dorm? And I wasn't there, so she let them, whatever, because it was room. So she was like, and guess what they did? And I'm like, what? And she was like, girl, they ate up all the food. So I'm like, what? They ate up all the food. So I look over, because our food sit, like, on, like, a desk right at the end of our bed. And I'm just like, I go over there and look at everything is missing. Like, I had, like, a whole bunch of stuff. I had, like, fruit snacks. I had cookies. I had Gatorades. I had Pops. I had so much stuff. It was really, like, all, like snacks for real that was like left out where people can like see or whatever but all of my snacks that I had was like gone like literally and then I had I remember like having like this whole pack of Oreos that wasn't even like open wasn't open at all the whole pack was in the trash like they ate every last one through the pack in the trash and I'm just like okay like y'all was really hungry so I, I didn't think it was funny at all because I felt like these people don't stay on campus they about to go home to a refrigerator full of food wherever they stay at and they come over here and eat up all our food and you let them then on top of it like um it was my food on top of it it wasn't like it was my roommate's food and she just let them eat it all but since it was mine I wasn't there to say yes or no like I was kind of confused on why that was even able to go down so, um, I wasn't saying nothing to her for, like, really, literally, like, the rest of the night or whatever. So, I guess she kind of peaked, like, we was talking a little bit, but I guess she kind of peaked, like, I was, like, irritated and mad about it. So, like, she stopped talking to me. <laughs> so, you know how, like, people get mad at you for you being mad at them, like, okay. So, um, sorry, I'm holding my camera. So, like, a couple of days passed by. No, literally, like, that same night, I used to talk to somebody on campus or whatever, like a boy. And I was venting to him about the situation. And like, he basically was saying like, you just need to tell her like how you feel about it. And I'm just like, she must, she already know how I feel about it if me and her not speaking. Like, if she just clearly told me that these people ate up our food and then our conversation go from us talking to us not talking, like, 
you know, something is wrong. But on top of it, I forgot to tell y'all. So, like, after she told me, like, they ate up all the food, I had called my mama. And I was just like, um, ma, like, guess what just happened? She was like, what? And I was just like, why some people come over here and spend the night while I was gone and they ate up all my food or whatever? And my roommate was sitting right there, so she heard us, like, talking back and forth about it. And my mom was like, what did they eat? And I'm just telling her, like, they ate up everything. They even opened up stuff that wasn't even open. And she was just like, um... She was just like, wow, that's crazy. And she was like, uh, your roommate let them? And I'm just like, I guess so. So she was like, all right, well, whatever. I'm going to just call you back. So we ended the conversation like that. So when a boy that I was messing with, when I had been, been to him about the situation, I told him what happened. And he was just like, you need to talk to her. I told him, like, she was right there when I was on the phone with my mama, like, telling her, like, what happened was not, like, right. So, um... Like a couple of days passed or whatever and we still not talking like me and her we normally like we had every class together so we had walked the class together all of that so like we literally wasn't walking together or nothing and then i would like normally like sometimes she'll wake up on her own sometimes i'll wake her up because i wake up first and get in the shower so like i had woke her up one day for class and um she didn't really say much i don't know if she got up i don't know if she went i don't remember because this was like freshman year and i'm a senior now i just remember like certain parts of it but um, I remember her wake, waking up one time or whatever, waking her up one time, and that was really it. We didn't really say much. So um, what happened? So, like, I get on Twitter. Like, I want to say this happened, like, two days later. I get on Twitter, and it seemed like she, like, subtweeted me. So I'm like, why would she be subtweeting me? Like, how am I in the wrong? So I, me and her, I was in class when I seen this. So I um, texted her, and I was like, I see that you subtweeted me or whatever. Like, I, I'm kind of confused on why you mad at me and I feel like if it was your stuff you would be mad and like for her like she into like makeup and stuff like that so I kind of explained to her like if one of my friends came over or a couple of my cousins came over whatever and it was just all up in your makeup used up all your lip gloss all your stuff what would you do it wouldn't even be like me and her no talking we'd be like straight fighting like like it would it would have just been wild so I was trying to tell her like how are you mad at me feeling some type of way when it was my stuff so she was like, continue not to speak to me. Don't be texting my phone now. You've been walking past me not saying nothing. And she was like, you've been going around campus running your mouth about what happened, all this other stuff. And I'm like running my mouth about what happened. So like the only person I had told was the boy that I was messing with. So I was kind of confused on like how did me telling one person end up in everybody else? Like how did everybody else figure it out? So, um, oh yeah, then I did like, the next, I think like that same, I mean, the next morning we was leaving for class and I had made a, a snap or whatever and I posted like my, the picture of my, like, uh, where all my sex stuff go. And I had made a snap and it said like, um, I can't believe that people came over here and ate up all my stuff. But I didn't tell y'all either that the people that had came over and ate up all our food or whatever, they follow me on Snapchat. So it was even kind of, I had mentioned, I had a uh, Snapchat at them too or whatever. When she had told me what happened about like them eating up the food my roommate i had snapchatted one of them and i was like so y'all came over here and ate up all my food and she was like the girl was like um no your roommate gave it to us and i was like so i told my roommate i'm like they just said that you gave it to them and she was like no i didn't or whatever so i just left it alone i'm just like see you trying to help other people out and then they want to blame you because like now they blaming you that you gave it to them but you claim that they just took it so I'm just like, I don't know. I don't, like, I don't even want to go back and forth about it. It's whatever. Like, I was already mad. So when I had made that snap or whatever, it was for them to see or whatever. Like, why would y'all eat my stuff? And then on top of it, if y'all already got my Snapchat, y'all over in my dorm, why not just snap me and ask for my stuff? And it's so crazy because, like, on campus, we got, like, a calf or whatever. And um, me and my roommate, we never really went to the calf. So when them people came up on campus, the two people that slept in um, our dorm, they will uh, ask sometimes. I think they asked like once or twice, uh, can I use our um, card to go to the cab? So we would give it to them. And they one time they Snapchatted me for it. So it's kind of like you can Snapchat me and ask me for my card, but you can't Snapchat me and ask me for my food. Like, I'm kind of confused on why didn't you feel the need to Snapchat me about that, especially when it was on my side of the room. So, um... That's what she was talking about, telling me, like, I've been going around to campus, all this other stuff. So I went and confronted the boy that I had told. And I was like, so how do my roommate know that I had talked to you about it? 
and she was he would basically say like um he didn't tell her he had the nerve to tell me like he ended up seeing her in a library and he went up to her and tried to talk to her about the situation and he said that he showed her text messages of me and his convo why would you show her text messages of me and her convo i mean of me and your convo about my roommate if i've been to you and I didn't even really say nothing bad. Only thing I was saying in the messages was I was mad about my food and like, I'm so mad, like I'm never doing like roommate stuff again. So that's all I really said. I didn't say nothing to like, I wanna fight her, I wanna beat her up, none of that. So, and I'm just like, what if I was to say something like that? You gonna bring all this hostility towards us and we living together. And then if a fight do pop off, where are you at? Cause you just was there instigating, basically going back and forth like a female. Like I didn't understand that. So I'm like, why would you show somebody text messages of what we talking about? Like, that's just, that just blew me. I was so turned off by that after that. So, um, it was another girl that I was, we, me and my roommate was friends with. We was cool or whatever. It used to be just the three of us. And she started acting funny too. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, you want to act funny? Then I'm not about to like, you choosing sides. And we all been, we all met each other around the same time. It didn't make no sense to me. So I had texted her and I was like, um, I'll be back at my room at this time or whatever. Like y'all can both come if y'all want to talk or whatever. So they both came together to back to the room. And I was just telling Tay, like, I didn't even mean to say no names, but I was just telling her like, um, basically like, I feel like you acting funny too. Like all of a sudden me and you hanging out, we all hanging out together. And then all of a sudden, like, since me and her getting, me and my roommate getting to it, y'all stop inviting me places. Like, okay. And um, she was just like, I didn't see your text when we were supposed to hang out and go to the library, all this other stuff. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I left that alone. So my roommate, me and her started like arguing. She was basically saying like, you going around saying stuff to people. I don't know how everybody else know about what happened in here, all this other stuff. And she was like, um, it was just a little bit of food. I don't know why you complaining about it. It wasn't even nothing really left. And I'm just like, okay, it's not, it's a little bit left. I don't care if it was a cookie left. I don't care what it was left. If it was on my side, do not touch, period. Like, if I'm sharing my food with you, why do, like, I'm confused on why that meant everybody else can get a piece. Like, no. And on top of it, it irritated me more because, like, they was being greedy about it. Like, I would have never been tripping if, like, they ate one or two things. But for everything to be gone, I was, like, so confused. Like, really? Like, you just, dis like, disrespected my stuff. So, um, she and I was like, who said that I say anything around campus? And she was like, she said the boy name that I talked to. And I'm just like, okay, to, like. That's crazy. That just blew me. And I was just so embarrassing because I'm talking to you, Ben, to you about my situation with my roommate. And she telling me that you going back saying stuff like, okay, like whose side are you on? So um, me and her just started arguing back and forth about the food and all that other stuff. And she was like, you need to stop getting loud with me, all this other stuff. And I'm just like, get loud with you over my food. And she was like, if you get loud with me again, I'm going to smack you or something like that. She was saying. And I was like, smack me over my food? Like, me and her was just going back and forth. And then I ended up calling my mom on the phone because, like, me and her were so close. Like, she knew my mama. She had my mama number everything. We had a group chat and all of that. So, I, um, after, like, the situation, like, diffused or whatever, I had called my mom. And she was still in the room. And I put her on small. I was like, put me on speaker. And she was basically saying, like, what was taken. And then she explained to my mom that, um, me and her was going back and forth. This whole time she had told me about, like, the situation like, she told me her side of the story. And then when I had got my mom on the phone, she ended up telling my mom, like, um, yeah, they had um, came over here and took the food, all this other stuff. And I guess my mom asked her, like, did you not stop it? And she was like, no, because they had ran. And I'm just like, what? And all of a sudden they ran? Like, which one is it? So um, my mom was like, just don't. She was like, just forget about it. Write down a list of what, everything they took, and I'll just replace it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So um, I ended up telling my mom like how she was talking about some smacking me and all of that over my food. So I was like, um, do you feel like you, um, I don't know what she said, but she felt like she had to come up here. And I'm just like, you don't have to come up here. You're like, no, you're doing too much. We already talked about it on the phone. And by that time, my roommate had like left after we had talked about it. So like, I'm just like, just forget about it. I'm not even gonna like worry about it no more, it's whatever. 
So um, my mom ended up coming up there anyway. So my mom had came to my room and she texted my roommate and she was just like, um, and my mom came with my aunt. I don't know why, black people just extra. So she had texted my roommate like, can you come back to the room? So my roommate came back and she was like, so Ron told me like, basically you talking about smacking her and all this other stuff. Like I thought y'all was just in here arguing. I didn't know that y'all was like planning on like fighting and all that other stuff. And she was like, yeah, I told her. My roommate was like, yeah, I told her if she get loud with me, I'ma come over there and smack her. And um, my auntie was like, well, you are gonna have to smack a whole bunch of other people or whatever. So they just was like going back and forth. Like they weren't really saying much for real, but my mom was like, um, since Rome was in this room first, you got until the end of the week to move out or whatever. And she was like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm living comfortably, all this other stuff. So her and my mom going back and forth. And she was like, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm living comfortably. So my mom had told me to go and get the RA. So I went and got the RA and the RA was like, it's really nothing I can do. Like, since it's theft involved, you would have to call the police, all this other stuff. So I guess they started getting loud and um, the police, like the um, school police came. And they had basically got like both sides of the story and they basically said like what had happened was wrong and they said that they don't even think that me and her should stay together anymore so they had gave me the option to move out or have her move out and i decided to just move out or whatever so i moved out into another room and me and her didn't speak like ever again which was so crazy because she was like my closest friend here like the whole my whole freshman year like I had other close friends but since I was living with her like we was like really really close so it was just so weird to like and then my other friend that we was cool with she stopped talking to me too completely like after I moved out and all of that so I really was like lonely like at the end of my second semester year like I really didn't have no friends like I'm not even the type to have like a big old group of friends anyway but like I literally had none like I only had probably like one friend but me and her wasn't even like hanging like that for real at all plus I didn't want to like hang out or do nothing anyway <clears throat> but yeah that just situation just like was just so crazy and then like I don't even know like now it's so crazy because like we done made up and everything and it took a long time for us to get to like that point like I don't even know I think maybe like my junior year I think yeah it's been my junior year and she like reached out to me or something and we just been like talking here and there. Like we got each other on social media and that's about it. But like we don't, we texted at first for a minute, but then like not really like not anymore. Cause she doesn't like go here anymore, go to my school. But, <clears throat> well, that's not the reason we don't talk. But I mean, eventually like we wasn't going to be talking like that anyway. Cause we not seeing each other. But um, yes, like that's what really, that's what happened in my freshman year college roommate dorm whatever you want to call it experience like it was so bad and it really showed me like people really switch up on you so fast like one little thing can like you could be cool with somebody good with them forever and then one little bad situation that happened between y'all that can ruin like y'all relationship and it's so crazy that that works like that because you would think that if you were a real friend you get past it and move on but like and make you think like are you a real friend because why wasn't we able to like get past it and now that i think about it it was just so petty like the whole situation was just like so petty like we could have been like we could have got past it or whatever and when i had thought about it when i like ended up moving out i'm like that was just so petty and like we mad at each other when we should have just been mad at the people that came and took the stuff like we all grown at the end of the day and maybe she didn't give it to them maybe she did but like they still should have asked me and if they did take it, that wasn't her fault or anything. Like, she couldn't chase them down the hall, like she said, and get it back. But I really don't know what happened between, like, what, what's the real story or what happened. But it really don't matter now. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Now I stay by myself. I've been staying by myself for, like, on and off, honestly. But since it's my last year, no, actually, my junior year, I stayed by myself, too. But yes, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for listening to my story. <laughs> Hopefully it taught y'all something and it wasn't too like boring or like, you know, but make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.